Hi everyone and welcome. Previously we have covered so many things about Node-RED that how can we create our own OPC UA server in Node-RED, how to customize that OPC UA server, how to add security in that OPC UA server, how to use Node-RED as an OPC UA client. Okay. As well, we have tried to communicate Node-RED with our uh, ZLAN 5 and 430 gateway over Modbus TCP protocol. Now, what we want to do is we want to create our own Modbus TCP server in Node-RED. Okay. So if you want to test your Modbus client or some other Modbus application like SCADA and any other Modbus application, then you can use Node-RED based Modbus TCP server to test your Modbus client applications. Okay. So in this video, we will focusing on how to create our own Modbus TCP server in the Node-RED. Okay. So as you can see here, my Node-RED is up and running. Now, first we need to install node for Modbus protocol. Okay. So we need to go to manage palette and here I have already installed Modbus node. Okay. You can see here it is already installed and it has 14 nodes. Okay. So you can copy this and then you can search it here and then you can download the first one okay and then you can install it so all you have to do is just click on install and it will install in your node red system after that you can use it okay so here in the palette section if you scroll down in the bottom then you can see modbus section and here you can see modbus server okay so using this node we can create our modbus server Modbus TCP server. Okay. So if we double click and if we open properties, then you can see hostname, port, coil, holding register, input register, and discrete inputs. Okay. So this is the number. So uh, we will uh, set our Modbus server name as a Node-RED Modbus TCP server. Okay. And hostname will be our IP address. So this server will run in my local system so that is why i'm going to use this ip address 127.0.0.1 okay and the port number is 10502 if you want to change the port number then you can change from here okay and this is the number of coils number of holding register number of input register and number of discrete input i want to create or you can say i want to configure with my modbus tcp server okay so all you have to do now is press on done okay and you need to deploy the flow okay once you have deployed the flow you can see here it is active okay now we have to open our modbus client application and in my case it will be uh more scan application okay so now we want to connect with this modbus tcp server okay so we will go to connection here we will click on connect okay uh let's me Okay, and then you can see IP address and service port. So you have to copy the IP address from here and then you have to copy the port number from here. Okay, so I have copied everything here and then I'll press OK. Before pressing OK, you can see device is not connected. So we didn't connect it with this Modbus TCP server which we have created in Node-RED. Now if I press OK here, then you can see this warning is vanished. So this more scan application is connected to this Node-RED Modbus TCP server. Okay. You can see number of poles is equal to number of slave responses. It means there is no packet loss in between this. Okay. And we are successfully connected with our Modbus TCP server. Now, if I open my second instance of more scan 32 application, and uh, if I go to holding register here, and if I decrease the length to 10, okay. And if I connect again, you can see if I update the value, suppose uh, 10. And if I update here, the value will also reflect in the second session. Okay. If I change the value this to 22, then also it will reflect in this session. And you can see number of pole will be equal to number of slave responses. It means there is no packet losses. Okay. So this is how you can create your own Modbus TCP server with the help of Node-RED. Okay. All you have to do is just drag and drop this Modbus server node. Just configure the IP address and the name of the server. 
okay and verify the port number and you can use this ip address and port number to connect with this modbus tcp server which we have created in node -RAID. okay so i hope it is clear that how you can create your own modbus tcp server in node -RAID. okay so if you still have any doubt or any question regarding this you can ask me in the comment section or you can also ping me on the telegram instagram or whatsapp so we will meet you in the next video till then take care Goodbye and thank you.